Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. I have a Leo and Virgo-only channel also. Um, the links to those are in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And when I go live to announce the winners, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. I do a monthly giveaway, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. I do not take personal readings, so any phone numbers that you see in the comment section below, it's not me. And if anyone reaches out to you on social media, it is also not me, okay? I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. The link to book with her is in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and get pop in here and let's see what we have for my beautiful Cancer baby spirit. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Okay. <sighs> cancer, we have genuine love in the reverse. We have phone call, okay, and we've got rebound. Now, I'm looking specifically, Cancer, at this phone call and this guy's face, how he's like this. He's like, I feel like Cancer. There's a couple different ways that this can go. Somebody could have walked away from you and went towards someone else and they didn't give them the same type of genuine love that you gave them, okay? Cancer, it could be that you're dealing with someone here that's gener generally in and out of your life and what you're not realizing is you are this person's placeholder. You are the rebound. So when this person's in and out of relationships, they come to you. Maybe you haven't woken up to that fact yet um, but for some of you, that could be the case. So let's see what we have here with this person. Tell me about the person making this phone call, please. Tell me about cancer. Tell me about cancer. What messages do we have here for cancer? What messages do we have here for cancer? Well, we've got the King of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. And we have the Eight of Wands. So there's communication coming in here, cancer. There is to me a lot of communication coming in. This person wants to talk. The Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Cancer, I feel like we're dealing with somebody that went to go invest in a situation with somebody that didn't love them back. We've got the Tower and we have the Star. This is someone that was hoping that something would happen with another person and it didn't happen. And now they're coming back around towards you. Okay. With the Three of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, Cancer, I feel like for whoever I'm reading for, Cancer, with that Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups, you knew about it. This isn't someone that just kind of faded off and went to go be with someone else. This is someone that told you right to your face, I'm with someone else, I'm going to be with someone else, this person's better than you. They may have been really ugly about it, okay? They may have been really ugly about it. I feel like cancer, this person has a friend that told them that this was a mistake. I have to be honest. There was a friend here. I'm seeing a page of swords. There was a friend that told them that this was a mistake. You're making a stupid, stupid mistake right now going towards this other person. Uh, your person didn't listen. Okay. So you know why this connection ended. You know why this connection ended. This was a very deep and ugly betrayal on this person's end. And this is why when they call you, their eyes are squinted like this because they know they're about to catch some shit when they call you cancer. They know when you pick up that phone that, you, you know, you are not in a good headspace when it comes down to this person. I feel like this person went towards someone else and I feel like there was no genuine love there. They were not, you know, that third party didn't love your person the way it's not, especially not the way you did. Tell me about the King of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles. Now, all of a sudden, this person wants to work on this. Now, all of a sudden, they want to be loyal, committed. 
the eight of wands and the five of swords cancer this is somebody this is somebody that made a very the five of swords is someone that i told you ugly okay this is someone that could have walked out on you in a very ugly way swords can be very harsh and ugly words being spoken it's wanting to one-up somebody um saying screw you you know i found something better blah 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 okay but generally it's a very hot-headed card even if it's not a wands card it's a very hot-headed card because this is someone that's willing to say or do anything in the moment okay to mess with your head so that they win Tell me about this Five of Swords and this Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. But they're back, Cancer. They're back. This is somebody that, you know, they wanted, they know they left. They may be telling you, Cancer, I know I did A, B, and C to you. I know what I did was wrong, but I want to offer my pentacle now. I want to come and show up as the King of Pentacles. I want to be grounded, stable. I want to commit to you, okay? Seven of Pentacles here with the Hermit. Cancer, this person has had some time to think about their actions, okay? They've had some time to think about their actions. Nine of Swords here and the Six of Cups in the reverse. They know what they did was wrong. They know what they did was wrong. They're looking back at their past actions here, and they're realizing that, that it was just, they made a mistake. This person, oh, they made a mistake, okay? Tell me about this tower and the nine of pentacles. Cancer, this person had a pre-empress on their ha hands. They had someone, you know, you're over here looking good, smelling good. Some of you do well for yourselves financially. You can handle your business, okay? You don't need anybody. If you're with someone, it's because you want someone, not because you need them, okay? And this person let it all fall. This person just let you fall. They let the relationship fall. Um, yeah, because they were under the impression here with the moon card and the queen of pentacles that this third party energy was their true counterpart and their true soul tie. Okay. But see, it was an illusion with that moon card because we've got the king to the queen of pentacles and the moon card. Now look at this cancer, king to the queen of cups and the 10 of cups with the star card. This is the real soul tie. Okay, this is the real soul tie. They were under the impression that this, this person that they went towards was their true divine counterpart. Meanwhile, you were in fact the Ten of Cups. This soul tie energy has the moon card attached to it. Okay, this soul tie energy has the Ten of Cups attached to it. That genuine love comes from you, Cancer. This other person here, it was nothing but an illusion, okay? Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Whatever this Queen of Pentacles energy promised your person or whoever this Queen of Pentacles portrayed themselves to be with the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords, it's not true. It is not true, okay? It's nothing this person said is real. It is all a lie. Okay, it is all a lie. This third party energy can't match your love and they can't match your vibe. Okay, they can't match your love and they can't match your vibe. And this person is like, they're on the phone like, oh, this could be so bad. Because cancer, they have no choice but to turn back around and come to you. Okay, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. We got wish come true and wife here. And we've got late night. Cancer, this is someone, this is someone that I feel like, you know, you stay up late at night and your wish for this connection was to be this person's wife or to be their husband. You've stayed up at night daydreaming about this, okay? But I feel like Cancer with unworthy here, You've come to realize that this person doesn't deserve that from you. That, you know, you've been putting this person on a pedestal and they're not even worth the dirt under your shoe, okay? This is someone that tossed you. They just, they just tossed you. 
the, the, you know what I'm saying? Without a care in the world, without a care in the world, this person, and, and they did it in a very mean way. I mean, I know this is a general reading cancer, so that may not resonate with everybody, but someone here was very nasty about making this decision and very in your face about it. Okay. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the 10 of wands in the reverse. Yeah, cancer, you got to the point where you said, you know what? I, 10 of cups in the reverse, 10 of wands in the reverse. You are not the person I thought you were. Obviously, the love that we had isn't what I thought it was. Um, obviously, none of this is what I thought it was. So I'm just going to let it go because you're not worth my time or energy. Okay. Um, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Three of Cups, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Cancer, they're back. I mean, I don't know what else to say. They are back. And with this Knight of Pentacles energy, they have been gone for a minute, Cancer, because they were off trying to give their all to this Queen of Wands energy, which is the third party. Now, Cancer, you have to understand that Magician card when someone goes into a relationship and the magician card comes out, you look at look at this card. All four suits are on this card. You've got the sword, you've got the cup, you've got the pentacle, you've got um, you've got everything there. Okay, you've got the wand, you've got it all there. So this person went towards this third party to give them everything that they weren't giving you. This person gave love, they gave passion, they gave money, um, they gave truth. They gave honesty. This person went all in with that third party connection instead of, you know, making things right with you. And Cancer, you realized here that, you know, I used to daydream. I used to fantasize about being your wife or your husband and, and growing old with you. And then you just sat down one day. Look at you. You just sat down one day and you said, you know what? This person was never worthy of me. I'm, and I'm proud of you, Cancer. And let me tell you why I'm proud of you. Because I feel like initially, Cancer, you may have had this feeling of rejection where, you know, maybe you felt like, oh, well, you know, if I was tall, if I had a beard, if I worked out, if I was skinnier, if I was having a bigger booty or bigger boobs, or if I, if I was like that third party, then this person would want me. There may have been a moment in, in your heart where you were like, what does that person have that I don't? right? There may have been that moment in your heart where you felt that way, Cancer. But then you said, you know what? I'm not the one being rejected here. This is the divine taking this person out of my life because they are not worthy of me. And you took your power back. Tell me about this Ten of Wands in the reverse with the Emperor here and the Nine of Pentacles. And Cancer, this is the energy you put yourself in. You said, I know who and what I am. Look, you're showing up as pre-empress, Nine of Pentacles, pre-empress, Nine of Pentacles. And Cancer, even if you're a man, all the Nine of Pentacles pre-empress energy means is that you're single, you're abundant, you've achieved everything you could possibly achieve in life, and now you're just waiting for your divine counterpart. Lumen Moon Tarot puts it the best. You're waiting for this one pentacle right here, which is love. And the only thing that's lacking in the pre-empress's life is love. Okay, so Cancer, you've decided, here you are, Queen of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So you're seeing the truth for what it is. And the reality is, is that you're not even worthy to be talking to me. Like, you're not even good enough to be talking to me. You're not even good enough to be cleaning my shoes much less me seeing you as my husband or wife. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I am going to wait for my true counterpart and my true emperor. And you wash your hands of this and you let it go. Tell me about this king of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Tell me about the ace of pentacles and the sun. So Cancer, now this person is flying in like a bat out of hell, okay, with this knight of swords energy offering you the world. Here they are, like a bat out of hell, offering you the world, telling you they want to have equal give and take, telling you they want a relationship with you, telling you, you know what I'm saying, telling you they want all of this stuff, but it only seems to be because they want to go offer everything they had to someone else that obviously 
where genuine love in the reverse didn't want them. And that's why with the King of Swords and the Three of Cups, you don't really, I don't think you believe anything this person has to say. Look at this, the Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you don't really believe anything this person has to say. You're not back here because you love me. You're not back here because you want to do right by me. You're not back here because you miss me. You're back here because you realize that you threw away something extremely expensive and rare for something basic and not worth your time. And that makes you basic and not worth my time now. Do you understand? Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. And the Six of Swords. Cancer, you know what? This is a devil, a, a devil that you've already overcome. It, it's a battle that you, you've you already faced this demon, won, and moved on. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's how I feel that, you know, yeah, see the Chariot, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Cancer, many of you may be saying, I want to move on to new love. And for others of you, this Chariot could be this past person that's extremely persistent, Okay. What about, what's this chariot, okay? Um, the Hierophant in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. That's actually the, the past person, Cancer. This person is extremely persistent, extremely persistent. They're going to they're gonna fight tooth and nail to get you back. They will, and they know it's going to be a freaking project because look at how they're calling you. Oh, this is going to be so bad. This is going to be so bad. Like, they know. You know what I'm saying? They know that this is going to require a tremendous amount of groveling and begging on their part with no guaranteed results. Because Cancer, as of right now, you're just in an energy of may the power of Christ, Christ compel you, you know, get, get away from me, stop calling me. You're just this person's talking and you're just throwing holy water on them, okay? You just see this person as a spawn of, of Satan. Like, you really do. You're just like, this person's talking and you're just throwing holy you randomly like this is, you know what i'm saying this person's like what the hell is that you know like you're, you are literally you see this person as the devil okay because they were so mean i'm telling you for the majority of you i really feel like this person was so mean when they walked away from you and so in your face about the fact that they chose someone over you so cancer i don't see them letting up but at the same time i i don't see you being interested at all in this i really really don't i have to be honest okay but i am a nosy bee you already know okay so we're going to take this into the extended i want to find out what happened with the third party i want to see here for those of you who do want to reconcile with this person or you know if you do reconcile what the outcome of that will be and for those of you that are like nope i'm going to go ahead and wait for my emperor you know do you see that emperor coming in let's just say for the rest of 2023 okay do we see new love coming in for 2023 okay i love you guys so much the link to the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below i will see you guys there take care my darlings